Hey guys, welcome back to Grain Boy Advance, the official Grain Boy Advance channel, uh, brought to you by Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown, uh, and the only channel that will have a fish tank running in the background the entire time. Uh, today, I have this Game Boy Advance in the uh, classic milky, milky milk finish. That uh, probably my favorite Game Boy name, Milky. And uh, I'm going to swap it into this uh, Smoke Gray Retro 6 uh, Handheld Legends custom molded shell. Uh, the reason I chose this one was I got the Retro 6 Handheld Legends DMG shell. And uh, this thing feels so good. It's, it's pretty much... As good as the originals, uh, if not better, almost, in my opinion. Uh, but hey, it's just my opinion. Uh, I got black buttons, membranes, and uh, more buttons and plastics and stuff for it. I like the black on, on black look. I also got a, uh, came with a uncut backing, so you could put AA batteries in there. I got the one with the USB-C cut out because I also got a clean juice battery for it. So this thing is really cool. I got the same thing for the DMG and it can come in and out so you can uh, just swap out the, the clean juice for regular batteries if you prefer. I don't know why you would, but uh, it's not a permanent modification, which I like a lot. So putting that in there. Uh, we're also putting in a, uh, I think it's a V2 IPS LCD screen. You can't see it because it's got yellow uh, adhesive backing or whatever. Um, and we're going to have to solder some wires onto the motherboard, which I did for my Game Boy Color. You can see them running through there. I even put the, uh, rigged this myself with the lithium battery. So we're going to do that for this, and uh, let's just get into it. So I already cleaned this one off screen. Uh, it was extremely dirty. I mean, this thing was not working. I uh, got it up and running. Uh, let's throw some batteries in there just to prove it. Whoa, there's a screw on here. I was looking for this screw. Anyways, now that we uh, figured out where the screw for my Game Boy SP went off to, we're gonna chuck some Amazon Basic batteries in there. I don't have the switch in right now. There you go. If you can see that, works perfect. It obviously sounds great. Um, not bad. So we're going to turn this off, and we're going to just essentially just drop this in because it's already pre-cut this uh, retro six shell it feels so nice I i'm super stoked to get in there yeah but it's pre-cut for the screen you don't need to fiddle around with uh flush cutters or anything like that or dremel tools uh, everything just pops in here really nicely the battery compartment too has also been leveled so which I think it's, oh, no, 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 yeah, they got rid of the little barriers here. There's, on some of them, there's a, a divider, but they uh, shaved that down already or pre-molded it to be that way, so you don't have to fidget with it, and uh, we're just going to pop this in, so come back for that. So this is already unscrewed, ready to go. We're just going to pop this back off here, set it to the side. This ribbon cable, I like to do it with tweezers or like a flathead screwdriver or something I just with your nails sometimes you can hit it kind of weird just pop that out be gentle which it I'm sure it doesn't look like I'm being and that comes right out take the motherboard out pop that to the side right now and then I can just leave all this in here because I'm not gonna use any of this. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. I'll probably end up um, either using that in a future build or um, just selling the parts on eBay and getting some of my initial investment back so that I can put it into 
another Game Boy. So, first thing we have to do here is get this screen out. I've actually never done this screen before, so I'm probably gonna have to look up some tutorials on it uh, mid-video here. So these, I believe, are spacers. This looks like it is a sticky adhesive of some sort. Uh, this is the screen, very delicate. Little connector there too. This is the ribbon cable. Wow. Okay. Foam backing for the screen. Maybe that's what this, uh, maybe that's what this adhesive's for, for the foam backing. I don't know, I'm gonna need to look it up. This just goes on the back of the screen. And then I'm guessing there are these little pads on the ribbon cable, I'm guessing these go there. It says ground, select, R and L. It's probably for like menu options, like on my uh, Q5 XL for the Game Boy Color. Okay guys, so I kind of futzed around with this, uh, looked at the instructions and it looks like it's gonna be fairly easy. It's gonna require some soldering. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Get this guy out of the way for now. It looks like we're gonna need to attach these little red wires to the pads here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a ground one, so we're gonna go left, right, the L and R bumpers and the select opens a, a menu, I'm pretty sure, for brightness controls and stuff like that. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add some uh, flux to this guy here, just a little bit. I don't have uh, Some people have some that like squirt onto here. I don't have that. I'm just going to prep these with some solder. Okay. Cool. Easy enough. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clean off that flux with some uh, isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> isopropyl alcohol? Isopropyl alcohol. Some of the paint came off from this cut pad. Isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip. Isopropyl gall. Protocol isopropyl. Okay. So next we're going to solder on these wires. Looks like these two going this way. And this ribbon cable does not need much heat from your soldering iron, so I, I actually had to turn mine down uh, was it like 700 before for soldering PCBs? I also do uh, guitar effects pedals, and you need it to be pretty hot for that. Okay, look at that. Easy peasy, guys. So you got this little clip. It's going to clip into this part of the ribbon cable. Just literally just punches right on there. And I believe that this is gonna fold around like this and go into the Game Boy. So, what we're gonna do is, where'd that little sticker go? This little sticker goes on the back of the screen to insulate it. Perfect. And it'll sit back here like this. And I think this is the correct pinout. I forgot that the Game Boy Advance has two separate, uh, two different, I should say, not separate, uh, pinouts for the ribbon cable. There's like a 20 pin and an 18 pin or something like that. Uh, look it up, definitely. Make sure you have the right one. Ooh, I don't have that one. Okay, so I have to use the smaller out. That's weird. So I need to look that up. So it's got to go like this. 
I just want to test the screen before I uh, solder anything onto the motherboard. Plop it in there. We're going to use the back from the Milky. This is the most stressful part for me is <laughs> kind of testing everything while, you know, you don't have the screen adhered or anything like that. It's just wibbling around. Uh, punch out a little bit. It's just wiggling around for, hopefully damage doesn't happen. Come on. Better uh, no, it was not. There we go, look at that. It works. So I'm just gonna tape this uh, ribbon cable down. With some, I forget what this tape is called again. I'm not very knowledgeable. Cap on tape, cap on tape or something like that. I made the same joke in the last video. Perfect. Okay, that should be good. And I just need to figure out what to do with this little extra doodad because we're definitely not gonna need that um, in there. And I also wanna make sure that the screen is centered to do that. Hmm. So I have this little adhesive uh, sticky stuff from the original screen. Uh, th this is trimmed bigger, so the screen is actually larger than uh, the original. I'm just gonna cut some of this so that it, we can use it as adhesive um, and get the screen locked in place without using 3M adhesive. I don't like using that stuff. I think it's too strong, and then if you ever need to futz with the screen or anything like that, it really, you could damage the uh, LCD display. So I'm not gonna mess around with that stuff. This stuff is just like a rubber, kind of like sticky stuff. Um, it's a little safer feeling in my opinion than the 3M strong adhesive, so. So I'm not gonna take this uh, protective film off the screen just yet. I just wanna get it in there. Tweezers. Okay, that is terrible. Don't put too much pressure on this thing. So we just want to get it centered. Maybe I should take that film off because if I'm going to do this. You know, I should also. I'm going to apply the uh, glass screen lens just because, or maybe I won't apply it. I'll just take this middle part out. Just gonna take that out, plop that in so we can kind of see the actual borders of this thing. Take off the protective film. How does that look? That looks pretty damn good. Okay. Just gonna gently, 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 gently stick that down. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna tuck this behind this, so it's kind of out of the way. All right, I'm also gonna tape that down so it doesn't move. Perfect. 
It's a little tape. And this is gonna go like this. TP2, right here. Get a little blobby of solder on there. Get the select. I'm not gonna want it to go anywhere near the D-pad. Perfect. Okay. Those little pads are really hard to hit with the solder and the solder doesn't really want to stick too much onto it. Um, so it's kind of a little difficult. And then just a little wipe with a Q-tip, some isopropyl. Okay, now we had to turn that around. Get this solder wick out of here. We're going to do the same thing for the L and R pads, so it's gonna go under here. We're gonna do it like this. And this guy is gonna go here. Perfect. Cool. So that is theoretically <laughs> done. So the next step here would be uh, this foam pad. Foam pad's gotta go here. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna cut a little slit in the foam pad so that it can slide in there. Slide it under here. Beautiful. See that? It's yeah. beautiful, I mean, I guess, but <laughs> it works, right? All right, now is the time to add your membranes and your buttons and everything. So I needed these little metal uh, pins for the shoulder buttons because it only came with one, and I don't know why it only came with one, but it did. So there's the, the four star instead of the five star rating on the, uh, for handheld legends. Sorry guys. Get all our little, wait, what is this? Oh, that's so funny. Okay. Ignore this bag. These, these are the leftover buttons from my friend's Game Boy SP mod that I'm doing. Uh, he picked clear buttons instead of black and I, confuse them. So here are the proper buttons. I was wondering, I was looking at them, I was going, these kind of look like SP buttons, but uh, it's too dumb to realize it, I guess, right away. So drop your bootins in there. Awesome. This is going to be really cool. Okay. Now we're going to gently, because there's weird cords. The other thing you're going to have to do is make sure that these cords don't uh, end up behind a screw post. I had that happen on my Game Boy Color and it was not fun. I was doing all sorts of weird stuff. I didn't understand why. It was a touch sensor thing. I was like flipping out and then I realized the button went behind a, or the, the wire went behind a screw. Okay, I think I have those cords all uh, properly stowed away so that they won't be in the way of screw posts or the shell shutting. And that should do it for the screws. Feels good, feels good. Now we're just gonna do the clean juice battery. Now this should, the other one was really easy to do. I just clip this in, take off the adhesive and just make sure that it's where you want it to be before you stick it down. 
Oh, this one is not <laughs> as good of a fit as the other one. There we go. Okay, so once you get this in, you have to take this out. Once you get that in, it theoretically should fit into this. Theoretically. There we go. Look at that. All right, so we have a fully functioning Game Boy. Look at that. So how this works for the brightness is if you hold select, you can go bright up with the R or bright down with the L. Very cool. Love that. Okay. Let's uh, throw a game in here and test out all the buttons. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. Let's do Super Mario because I think that uses all the buttons. Oh my god, a second this game. Oh. 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 Alright. So it looks like all these work, so that's cool. Can look up. Awesome. Well, that worked. That's super cool. Just gonna turn that off. So that's great. So this thing's working, looking good. And we got this cool sticker that says, you know, Retro 6 on it, because it's a special uh, Game Boy shell. Ooh, that sticker's really substantial feeling. That's great. this thing's lined up. Awesome. Got the model sticker on there. It's looking good. I'm just going to leave this on for now. But yeah, this thing's awesome. I'm sure this thing plays great. I'm going to uh, list this on eBay as soon as I can and uh, see if anyone wants it. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.